So we have Joshua Real, owner of uh, KO Industrial, with us. And Joshua, you do more than just come up with these unique ideas every year for the stapled haunted house in central New York. Did I hear something you're in a movie? Yeah, I was approached last year um, at the Turning Stone. We did a, There was a convention out there. We had a KO booth. I didn't know it at the time, but I guess I met a, a director from the movie Death House, and he hired me slash KO Industrial to work on Death House, and I did the set design in it. It was held at Holmesburg Prison in Philadelphia, so that was a great experience. So when you watch the movie, there's actually props in there that I either had to specially make for the film, or I just took props that were in KO and brought them down. Tell us about that experience. That had to be so cool. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I never had experience like that before, being on a set. Well, it's a set that big, I should say. They actually gave you three meals a day. <laughs> <laughs> but as well, you see all the celebrities. The guy from Friday 13th, Kane Hodder, he's the main character in it, and he's, he's pretty wild to see on set. It was just pretty wild seeing like all my work, you know, because like, they'd be shooting in other areas, and I'd be designing a room in another section of the, the Holmesburg prison. After I get done, it's, it's pretty wild seeing the camera crews come in, you know, Kane come in, other actors, and just doing all their things inside the set. You know, and be like, wow, it's just in there making that whole thing, and now they're all doing their thing. So what are some examples that we can see when we watch the movie that you created for the set pieces? There's a lot of examples in the trailer. In the trailer, you see, a, like, a red demonic kind of character screaming into this microphone at the end. Uh, that room's a good one. Um, there's a, a riot scene in the trailer. In the middle, there's this table. I had to green screen the table to look like a uh, visual map of the, the prison, and the actors are standing around and pointing at the green screen, but in the, the film, you know, it looks like they're pointing at an interactive map. So that was pretty wild. And the cool part is that table that I made is, you know, I, I didn't make it for KO at the time, but I started making, like, this industrial kind of fixtures back in the day before KO. And uh, I made that when I was, like, 16 years old, so I never expected it to be in Death House or anywhere else but KO, you know. Is that something that maybe you will follow in the future and do more of that? Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> did you you know get any more tips or contacts through that i actually the director harrison he was a great guy and I'm very selective on who i work with and i would definitely work with harrison again he's an awesome guy when can we expect death house to uh, be out so we can all watch it but i hear it's next year that's nice. awesome so yeah so if you come through ko um you'll probably spot some things in there from the, the from the film